outside of Bethlehem this week. I mean, complete chaos. You see, Caesar has issued this decree that everybody must go to their hometown and get registered for the census. Well, hold on, before I get ahead of myself, uh, my name is Stuart, and this is my name, the Bethlehem Bedroom. <laughs> we were going to call it the Holiday Inn, but we didn't think it would catch on. Um, it's been quite a night. You see, uh, this couple came up after all the rooms were filled up, and this couple said, uh, this couple came up, and the girl said, Please, sir, do you have any room for us to stay tonight? And I told them like I told everybody else, I'm sorry, but this is full. And my wife heard the whole conversation, and she must have seen something I didn't see. She saw that this girl was pregnant, and she kind of jabbed me in the gut, which I knew meant either A, I should find a place for them to sleep, or B, I should find a place for myself to sleep, so I chose it. <laughs> I told them they could sleep in the barn. The barn, it's, it's no place for any human being to stay. It's full of hay, manure, and animals, but that's all I had. And they were thankful. You should have seen this couple. There's just something amazing about them. It's just too hard to describe. Describe your rooms to me, sir. Oh, pardon me. What do you need? Your rooms. I need a place to stay tonight. You know, one on every corner? I'm sorry. All of our rooms are full. There are no vacancies here. You're telling me? This whole census thing? I wasn't even going to come, but then my CPA said I had to, so here I am. Well, I'm sorry, sir. You're all out of luck here. You've got to have something. I've got money. I know I didn't misread the sign. Sign? What sign are you talking about? I shut that vacancy sign off half an hour ago. Oh, no, not that one. The star over there. I've been following it for a half an hour now. I was just sure it meant vacancies. Apparently it meant on vacancies. But you have to admit, the star is shining right over your house. Well, come to think of it, it's not shining over your house, it's shining over your barn. But you wouldn't keep anybody in your barn now, would you? No, not even a pregnant woman. What? I think you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. All I got for you is this nice cup of complimentary coffee. Oh, no, I get kind of jittery when I drink caffeine at night. Oh, no, no, it's decaffeinated. Really? You got milk? Are you sure that's not caffeinated coffee? Tastes like the real thing. That's the secret about Pharaoh's naturally brewed decaffeinated coffee. It tastes like the regular, but it's decaffeinated. That, my friend, is a good cup of joe. Yep, that's right. America runs on Dunkin'. You know, the only thing I need with this is, uh... Uh, some bread? Yes. Man, that is some good bread. You like that, don't you? I, I got a few loaves that I got down from Jared's. You went to Jared's? I went to Jared's. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I'm trying to wash my way. That is a butter substitute. of regular margarine or butter. Are you sure that's not butter? Yep. I can't believe it's not butter. Nope. <laughs> well, thank you, friend, but I need a place to lay my head tonight. Well, I'll tell you what. There is a motel down the street. It's the, uh, It's the sixth motel down. Okay, Motel 6. Yes, yes, the one with the lights on. That was easy. Have a good night. <laughs> okay. You follow that star as some sort of sign. Science. It is shining unusually bright over my house, but no. That can't be a sign. No, oh, that's crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. What? I know what's going on inside of your barn. What? I've been in your barn. You smell like my barn. That's the shit. How, how do you know about my barn? The star. The star said, oh, the angel alien. Who? The angel alien. some weary travelers tonight. Take a wise man to answer that question. Where do you find a wise man in this place? Is this the place? The place? The place, the place. Come on, I have no time to waste. All right, all right. Don't be in such a haste. What's in the case? The case? The case. Ah, uh, this is the place. What's your name? Reuben King. King Stewart. You can call me Reuben. You can call me Stu. Here's my card. <laughs> I deal in impossibilities. Impossibilities. That's my job. All right, all right. 
What's in the case? A barrage. A barrage of what? Bulk. What kind of bulk? Expense bulk. The kind when you care enough to send the very best. For who? The baby. The baby? How, how did you know about the baby? I followed the star. You followed the star which led you to the baby in the barn? Yep. Impossible! That's my job. <laughs> alright, alright. What's your beef? Roast beef. I'm thinking... I'm thinking Arby's. Can I bounce a secret off you? As he leaned in closer, there's only one thing I could think about. Tic Tac? Thank you. <laughs> Let me be straight with you. The baby in the barn. What about the baby in the barn? The baby in the barn is the son of God. The son of God? Impossible! That's my job. And to think, I love the Messiah in the cold tonight. Well, I'd hate to be you. Well, I'm getting out to the barn if two of my sisters come by and a drummer boy I send them to. Whoa, 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 whoa. A drummer boy? Yeah, a little drummer boy. And what is this little drummer boy going to do? Bang on his drums. He's going to bang on his drums. Bang on his drums for the baby in the barn. He's going to bang on his drums for the baby in the barn. Basically. Beautiful. What a ballad. Parobo pom pom. Parobo pom pom. <laughs> you tell him to play his best for him. Oh, he'll play his best for him. Parobo pom pom. Parobo pom pom. Parobo pom pom. Catchy. I thought so. <laughs> well, you have a merry. Uh, a merry. Merry Mary had the Christ child in a barn in Bethlehem on Census Day Day. I gotta figure a way short on that. Well, I'm off to the barn. <laughs>